Harbor Freight Tools has had two different jack stand recalls recently, which has solidified my determination to get jack stands with locking pins. And if you missed my previous video, I already reviewed three different sets of jack stands. But after shooting that video, I wanted to try out this set of Torin Big Red 3-ton aluminum jack stands. In this video, I'll show you how these are made and whether they're worth the money. I bought these from Amazon, I waited for a sale, and I paid about $61. First up, why would you get these? Well, it's because of this pin mechanism. Regular ratcheting jack stands are more convenient, you just lift the post to set the height. But I always wonder if that pawl in there is properly engaged, and the Harbor Freight recall where the stand would drop the load shows it can be an issue. These pin style jack stands are less convenient. You have to lift the stand, figure out the height you need, line up the hole and insert the pin. But that little bit of inconvenience can be worth it for peace of mind. When the pin is installed, you know the jack stand is secure. Let's talk about how these are made. I have this one partially disassembled here so we can take a better look at it. There are good and bad things about how these are built. Uh, mine do have a couple defects, but let's talk about the good things first. The first good thing, people on the internet are always complaining about the quality of welds on jack stands. And on these, there are no welds. These are all aluminum. The base you can see is cast aluminum. It is held onto this main tube with a screw in the bottom, which I have removed so I can show you how this is made. So you don't have to worry about someone at the factory uh, updating their Instagram and not paying attention to the quality of their welds because there are no welds here. Because of how this is made, it's capped on the end. I can't show you the inside, uh, but looking through the bottom here, there is a little retention mechanism on the bottom of the post. It makes it so you cannot pull the post all the way out of the tube. And in addition, it also offers some drag, so the post is not just flopping around in here, it's a little bit held in place. The way this was made at the factory is they take the post, attach the saddle, then the post is inserted into the tube here. From the bottom then, they can insert and attach that retention mechanism I was just talking about, then cap off the bottom of the tube. The saddle on these jack stands are totally flat, which can be a benefit in some situations, depending on what you're trying to lift. Like I said before, the base is cast aluminum, and in photos it does look kind of small. Here are the actual dimensions. In person, it's pretty comparable to some of the jack stands from my last video, uh, like the Laren and the Torin. Now, let's talk about some of the not-so-good things about this design. There is one issue I have with the base design on these stands, since it is cast, it's a single flat piece, and it needs a really perfectly level, even surface. Here's an example. This is one of the relief cuts in the floor of my garage, and since the floor has settled a little bit over the years, uh, the two pieces of the slab here are not perfectly even. With a regular jack stand, you can bridge that gap, and you can see this is pretty much perfectly steady. Since this one is totally flat on the bottom, something like this will cause it to rock a lot and be really unstable. You should always be using your jack stands on solid, even ground, but with these Torin stands, any unevenness is going to cause you a problem. I gotta say, I do not love this base design. My set of stands does have a couple defects. They aren't huge, but they are pretty annoying. The first one is that they did not make the chain long enough for the pin here. On both of these, it really should be like a half inch or more longer. I know why they didn't make it a lot longer, because they don't want you trying to put the pin in up here where you're not supposed to insert it. But the problem with this is, for example, if you're moving the stand around and the chain gets twisted, it becomes too short to be inserted. So there have been multiple times where I've just moved the stand and then I go to insert the pin, but I can't do it because a twist in the chain made it too short. The second problem is with the pins themselves. This is one of the Laren stands I reviewed in my last video. As you can see, the pin is retained with this little clip, so after you get the uh, pin in place, you can put in the clip, then it won't fall out when you're moving the stand around. 
The Torin stands have a feature that at first blush seems nicer. Instead of a little clip you have to mess with, they have a uh, retained spring-loaded ball in here. The way this is supposed to work is when you insert the pin, it works like the uh, ball on a ratchet that retains the socket. That ball keeps the pin from falling out when you're moving the stand. The problem is that neither pin is made properly. The ball in there does not stick out enough to actually engage the housing on the jack stand. So inserting and removing the pin takes zero resistance and it's basically as if there's no retention mechanism at all. This is not really a safety issue because once the vehicle is on the stand, you're not gonna be able to remove the pin. But it's an annoyance because when you're, for example, moving the stand around, since there's nothing holding the pin in, it can just easily fall out. The maximum and minimum heights on these aluminum stands are pretty typical for three-ton jack stands. For comparison, here are the Torin double-locking jack stands I showed in the last video. And remember, that is three tons evenly distributed between the pair, so 1.5 tons each. That's clearly spelled out in the manual, but if you look online, a lot of people are confused about that. As far as the weight goes, 6.85 pounds on the steel stands and just under 5 pounds on the aluminum stands. So there is a difference there, but neither one of these are really very heavy. Finally, let's talk about the price of these and some of the alternatives. I paid a little over $60 for these. Uh, typically they sell for like 65 to 75 bucks, which makes them the most expensive jack stands I've reviewed so far. I mean, they're more than twice as much as the ProLift stands, which were my top pick in that last video. If you want a pin design, but you're willing to spend more than this, you could get the Esco jack stands, which look really beefy. On my last video, some people said they wanted a USA-made option, and I can think of two examples. Uh, one would be the US Jack brand jack stands, which are really nice and are about $160. Hein Werner also offers some jack stands that are partially made in the USA. They're about $100. Bucks. Getting back to these Torin stands, overall I like the design pretty well, although I do not love the way the base is made. Uh, there are some other aluminum jack stands that have a traditional base design with four feet. If I was designing jack stands, I'd use that kind of base along with this type of pin design. But even considering the base, overall I think these are pretty good, and if they were made properly, I would definitely recommend them. However, with the defects I have on mine, I gotta say that overall I'm not very impressed. The chain being too short, I mean I could fix that myself by getting a new chain, but I shouldn't have to do that on a brand new pair of stands. And I don't have a way to fix the locking pins, they're just defective. The company does say you can call them to get replacement parts. I haven't done that yet because I'm not sure the replacements are going to be any better. But again, overall I do like the design of these, and if you like the design and want to try them out, I would say go ahead and get them. But maybe get them from a place that has easy returns in case you get a bad set like I did. So what do you guys think? Do you like the design of these jack stands? Are there any other jack stands I should review? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, hit that subscribe button and that like button. Thanks for watching.